Senior Vice President of Financial Advice Strategies at Ameriprise Financial. Of course, we are familiar with Ameriprise Financial uh, locally to the Myrias Group, John Everson and Phil McCoy. Marcy, good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. You're on with Rob and Maria and Bill. Hi, good morning. Glad to join you. Good morning. Could you first begin this interview by defining the, the age range of a millennial? Because that seems to be a floating definition depending on who you speak with. I would say generally, think about millennials as our friends and family who are in their 30s. That's generally how to think about it. But technically, ages 27 through age 42, that's really the, the boundaries in terms of birth year. Mm-hmm. But for, you know, kind of ease, think of this as these are, these are your friends and family and, and neighbors who are in their 30s. Okay. I have sons that are this June will be 29 and 26, so this subject matter struck me uh, of particular interest as I read it because it deals with a survey done of millennials and what their financial concerns are. And I know sometimes when I talk to my sons, I find them to be very normal human beings, and other times I find that they're on a different planet than I'm on. So I, I want to understand them <laughs> not, better. Not thinking too much about retirement right now. <laughs> Amen. No, right. I do the same thing with my adult children. <laughs> what do you mean, retirement? Oh, it's 100 well, years away, right? It is, yeah. Let's talk about their concerns. I, I presume in, in reading this survey, many of their concerns are the same as everybody else's concerns, I think. They are. And I think, you know, one thing that was really interesting in this study to me was that most of this population, six out of 10, said they feel generally positive about their finances, which is great, although. Just under that, uh, just over half of them also report that they are definitely feeling the challenge of balancing lots of different competing demands and priorities in their lives, which is natural, if particularly if for people at that life stage. They're maybe thinking about what they want to have happen in the near term, what their intermediate, intermediate term, long term. If they have kids, they may be thinking about college savings. They may be thinking about retirement, as you said. And so I think you know they're balancing lots of competing demands. And at the same time, they have concerns that are really, really common. Uh, and 90% of the people we talked to said they have some, some concerns about inflation, which I think all of us certainly can relate to. They also are thinking about concerns like, are taxes going to go up? Uh, are, it, might there be a recession? What do high interest rates mean for me? So they have concerns. But one of the really positive findings is that 95% of the millennial investors we talked to said they are taking concrete steps to address those concerns. And two of the most common steps are things that were absolutely music to my ears as a certified financial planner. Uh, 60% said they are, in fact, focusing on spending less. And just under half said they're focused on saving more. So those are sound strategies at any stage of life, but particularly smart for people in that millennial generation. I saw or heard a stat recently that said that the a home buyer now on average is first time home buyer 36 years of age which is the oldest i think it's ever been according to this stat and you mentioned that millennial range of ages 27 to 42 and 36 kind of hits right in the middle of that there and i'm guessing because of the student loan weight that these millennials are carrying buying a house is a lot further off from them than it was say for me who came along at the tail end of the baby boom Well, that is an interesting area that we did want to dig into to understand when are some of those important life milestones happening for millennials. And your comment about debt is certainly something to pay attention to. Eight out of 10 millennials have some sort of debt. And 57% said that that debt is something that is getting in the way of addressing some of their other goals. So it, it is definitely part of the picture. At the same time, this generation came of age when they were experiencing, probably from a step removed, uh, the Great Recession as an example of something that was affecting their families in their formative growing up years. So they have taken lessons and demonstrated some resilience. And there are three interesting things that the millennial generation is doing on average at a younger age than my generation, Gen X, or than baby boomers. First is starting to save for retirement, average age for millennials is to start at age 27. And I will say for Gen X, it was more like late 20s and into the 30s for baby boomers. So starting to save for retirement earlier. Uh, For the third of millennials who are working with a financial advisor, they also started earlier, uh, average age 27. Baby boomers didn't start until their mid 40s on average. And so they're saving for retirement earlier. They are also getting some 
professional financial help a little bit earlier. And then finally, for those who do own a home, which is about two-thirds of the millennials we talked to, um, they started that a little bit earlier, on average three to four years earlier. So I think they've learned some lessons uh, by the, you know, experiencing the environment that they did growing up. They've got some resilience and they are taking action, but they do have the challenge um, of that debt management piece that's pretty common. Maria. So, um, again, Rob and I are in the same place with our adult children. So my daughter is kind of, but not really, an outlier. She had a situation where the home across the street, yes, where like everybody loves Raymond, um, became available. And she bought a house, uh, Marcy, when she was 26 years old, which is um, pretty crazy. But... She, the interesting thing I think is this piece of millennial for they also lived through the pandemic um, such as it was but um, so many of them present company included moved home and were able to um, you know to secure a lot of resources that they wouldn't have because there was nowhere else for them to go, nothing else for them to do. Um, so she was in kind of a unique position. But talk about how the pandemic affected um, millennials and their saving uh, strategies. Well, I think you're really on to something there. Um, the, the research we did found that a lot of millennials have gotten financial help and support from the older generation. They, uh, they are much more common, likely to have had that happen already, whether that was you know, help with a down payment on a house or it was help with college, help with buying a car, um, and certainly the you know, experience you just shared around having um, you know, some, some support and partnership on living expenses during the pandemic would certainly fit in that category. And so that the millennial generation has gotten more help financially from family than prior generations did. And really interestingly, 41% of the millennials we talked to expect that help to continue. <laughs> and I think that is a, that's a real <laughs> lesson because I would encourage the millennial investors to uh, appreciate that if it's available and it can happen, but also to not count on it. They need, they need a plan that kind of has them on their own two feet and if they get some financial help from family that continues, that, that, you know, that will just be a bonus for them. And then I would also encourage older generations to you know, make sure they're proceeding in a way that's balanced so that they don't put their own future retirement at risk by providing support to their kids that they, uh, they maybe can't fully afford. Yes, please get off your parents' cell phone plan. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> uh, Mar Marcy, where can folks find out more about this survey and Ameriprise Financial? Uh, we have more information available at Ameriprise.com slash millennials. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Great stuff.